Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have an exciting tutorial for you guys. It is the untethered iOS 5.0.1 jailbreak tutorial. It works for the iPhone 4, iPhone 3, GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd generation, as well as the first iPad. Unfortunately, this does not work on either of the A5 based devices, which would include the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. All right, so what you're going to need to do is download the latest version of Red Snow, and I have a link down below in the more info to a post on my website, and that post has links to the latest version of Red Snow for both Mac and Windows. Once you have it downloaded, simply open it up. And I'm going to take this time to show you guys that my iPod Touch 4th generation is on iOS 5.0.1 by going into Settings, General, About, and at the bottom there for the version, it does say 5.0.1. All right, so what you're going to do inside of Red Snow is hit the top option, it's jailbreak. And once you hit that, it's going to say to make sure that your device is both plugged in and powered off. We're actually not going to turn it off because when you hit next, it will actually tell you how to enter DFE mode and we can do this ahead of time so it bypasses this screen. And the advantage to doing that is my way is slightly easier and you also get the opportunity to try multiple times and you know for a fact whether or not it's in DFE mode because it bypasses this screen. So what you're going to do is hold down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. And you're going to hold the home button for roughly 10 seconds. You will know whether or not you're in DFU mode because this screen will go away and it will start to exploit the device with Lime Rain. Now, if you don't get it right the first time, you can let go and try again. I'm actually not going to cut anything out of this video because I want to show you guys exactly how long each step takes. All right, there we go. As you can see at the top right there, it has identified my device as the iPod Touch 4th generation on iOS 5.0.1. Now we get a couple of different options down here at the bottom. All we're really concerned about is install Cydia. You can check the other ones if you want and the options will vary depending on which device you have. However, you do not want to check install custom bundle because it will bring up a browse window and if you select something, it will deselect install Cydia and since we're jailbreaking, that's all we really care about is installing Cydia. So you can hit next right here and it will actually go through the jailbreak process. And like I said, I'm not going to cut anything out of this video so you guys can see exactly how long everything takes. And right here, as you can see, it is downloading the jailbreak data, but unfortunately due to the odd backlighting of my device, it doesn't exactly show up as well as it should in highlight conditions, which is what's going on right here. Because as you can see, you can't really tell that it's going through the jailbreak process, but rest assured it actually is. So I'm gonna take this time to explain what untethered and tethered actually means. So basically tethered meant that you have to turn off your iDevice and when you turn it back on, you have to plug it into your computer and run Red Snow's just boot mode. So that was what you had to do to actually turn on your device and to get it working properly. But now thanks to the untethered jailbreak, you can freely turn it on and off without having to worry about Red Snow's just boot mode. And previously with other tethered solutions, you had to do the same exact thing, except with different utilities, you had to uh, basically just enter that uh, tethered jailbreak mode with different options. But like I said, thanks to this untethered jailbreak, you can freely turn off and on your iDevice without having to worry about plugging it into your computer and rerunning the jailbreak utility or at least running the tethered part of that jailbreak utility. So right here, my iPod Touch is on moving applications and this part takes the longest and it should stay there for quite some time. Do not worry about that. Just let it go through the process. Uh, do not touch the home or power button. It is actually still working, but like I said, it does take some time to move past that.
All right, as you can see, it moved past the moving applications and it's on installing bundles and that process doesn't take long at all. All right, now it's rebooting and this should just take the normal time that is required to actually reboot your device. All right, there we go. The iPod Touch has booted up. And we will slide to unlock. And over here we do have Cydia. And I'm going to open up Cydia. And down below at the bottom, I'm going to show you that I am indeed on 5.0.1. And then I'm going to prove to you guys that it is an untethered jailbreak by turning it off and turning it back on without even being plugged into the computer. So we will scroll down to the bottom here. And right there it does say iPod Touch fourth generation iOS 5.0.1, Cydia 1.1.3. All right, so now what I'm going to do is exit out of that, unplug the iPod Touch, close out of everything on my computer here, and now I'm going to turn off the iPod Touch. All right, here we go. Slide to power off. It's actually taking quite some time to turn off here, but once it does turn off, I will turn it back on. So I hope you guys liked this video. Please remember to rate it up if you did and rate it up if it helped you out. If you guys have any comments, just leave them down below in the comments section. And be sure to subscribe for more jailbreak tutorials in the future and also for more great videos in general. So as you can see, it has turned back on and Cydia does work. So you do know that it is an untethered jailbreak. Again, I hope you guys liked this video. Please rate it up if you did. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.